is it though that these that these conservative uh, school districts or legislatures or, or 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 you know political leaders? Why do they go overboard with banning? I don't think any book should be banned. First, first and foremost, I don't think any kind of art should be banned at all. Right. But I do believe in age restrictions. Right. Like I don't like I've seen some of the stuff that they, they that they're pushing in elementary schools. Right. You know, like these some of these these books. Right. Where they're showing graphic gay sexual content. Right. In, in elementary schools, that should be banned because those mm-hmm. kids are not old enough. If those kids can't walk into a bookstore and buy a Playboy. They should not have those books in in their in their classrooms, right? So, but but now those books should exist, and you should be able to, you know, attain those books elsewhere—a bookstore, a public library. But in schools, I think that's where banning for me is like, well, yeah, you know, considering the age range, this should not be taught in grade school. This is from Pen America, uh, the Freedom to Write conservative commentator Bill O'Reilly hits the roof over his books being banned in Florida. Why? Why? Why are these books being banned? Are they considered uh, like what are they about? I guess right. is well, gonna, politics. It is being banned. Yeah. Uh, O'Reilly has co-authored a dozen books in the Killing series of popular biographies of historical figures like Abraham Lincoln and Ronald Reagan. He is now reportedly furious that two of these titles were removed by Escambia County Schools in December. He says he wants Governor DeSantis to change the law that drove bans on those books. Riley also said he once supported the onslaught of of school book bans, saying Florida and, by interference, other states need to act to protect children from a far left agenda. Now he views the bans in a different light, arguing that Florida lawmakers wrote a law whose wording is too vague and needs to be rewritten. Dante? See, yeah, and this is what... Okay, worst case scenario, right? You have a book that is supposed to be factual, but it's full of lies, full of uh, misrepresentation, the whole deal, right? Mm -hmm. I, I think criticism of that book is completely valid, right? Whether someone wants to buy that book or not should be up to them. Mm-hmm. So I don't think it should be banned. I think it it, should, it could be criticized, like heavily. But mm-hmm. I don't believe in banning. I only believe it when it believe in it when it when it comes to children who should not be reading certain material. Other than that, a grown ass person should be able to read, watch, listen to whatever they want, whatever they want. Mm-hmm. You know, it may not be my cup of tea, but if you're a grown person, you do you, mm-hmm. and you should be able to get any form of book, movie music that you want mm-hmm. but so, but, so wait, but, this isn't just about children this is just about banning them overall for like for public purchase this isn't just about I think, banning i think them. i think in this case it's a certain school district in florida that took the law and kind of just took it to the full extent to mm-hmm. where they are now uh, uh, have banned more than 1,600 books in school districts due to fears wow. that violate Florida's new law, HB 1069, which has been interpreted to prohibit any materials with sexual conduct. Any materials. Any materials with sexual conduct. That's really vague. Really? We're going back to like the ancient times now? Like I feel like we're reversing but, 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 but again, for what age group, though? Well, PEN America says Century Old Free, uh, free Expression and Writers Organization has been at the forefront of documenting this censorship, which is not, uh, which has not been seen since the Red Scare of the 1950s. Hmm. It reports that titles like Anne, Anne Frank's Diary of a Young Girl, Adventures, oh, and Memoirs, Adventures and Memoirs of Sherlock Holmes, and Agatha Christie's Death on the Nile, along Are with really? five dictionaries, eight different encyclopedias, the Guinness Book of World Records, Ripley's what? Believe It or Not, are all on this list. No, that's nuts. That's, that's, that's nuts. Well, and here's what I what I what I what I said right here in my in my uh, in my post right here. The right always fails horribly when it comes to comprehending cultural nuances. Yes, right. Meaning that in in regards to bless me ultima, which deals with curandismo, uh, 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 medicine women, uh, uh, you know, healing with herbs in 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 uh, in ancient Mesoamerica has been around long before Christianity. They just blended it in with uh, Catholicism over the last 500 years. It's in the book. It's amazing. It's wonderful. Well, 
it, it, you know, it's, it's that's not our Christian God. Boom, you out. That has been one of the one of the big sticking points with this book. That is why I believe the right has always failed with these cultural nuances. With because you assume they assume that all uh, Latino families are or we're this conservative and we're we're we're, we're heavily uh, Catholic and, and, and yeah. you know this and that. It's like uh, yes and no. What are your thoughts? Is this I, just I, happening in Florida, or is this? Uh... I'm using this example. This is example. a Florida example. But right? this is happening everywhere. I I see it happening in several different school uh, boards and peop or people um, protesting against a liberal school boards. Um, I'm just not understanding style. what brought on like such a big heavy hand on censorship with everything that kids well, of all tell. ages uh, yeah. have. Uh, heavily have access to like why mm -hmm. why now like why this just seems so backwards and <laughs> just not sure. reproductive at all but but why um do you, uh, dante i think i think you were you were pertaining to it in regards to swinging too far far left with the literature yeah so for me and i think you're right paulie i think i think i honestly i think if conservatives continue to act this way they're going to continue to lose the culture war. Like they'll, they'll never ever win the culture war because they don't understand nuance, right? They, they go to an extreme very, very quickly. Um, and, and, and as, as many crazy leftists as there are, there's just as many crazy far right. Right. And again, if you're not balanced or in another, another way of saying it is if you don't have nuance, then you do stupid shit like this. Like ban classic books uh, from schools or libraries. Okay. Yeah. So nothing. I think, I think there was happened. a. I think there was a clapback with from parents and parents groups when they found out what was being taught to their kids were of a sexual nature, then of a, 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 a not just a straight sexual nature. So I think that started it. Am I right or wrong, Dante? Mm -hmm. That I'm sorry, say that again. Um, I think what started this clapback and going and swinging too far to the right with this type of censorship was that uh, parents were discovering what was being taught to their kids in in their schools were of a sexual nature, uh, way too risque, and then often not of a straight sexual nature. We were, were, were like, let kids be kids, so to speak. That kind of Am I right or wrong? That kind of I, I think you might be wrong on that because I think I think okay. the book banning has been around forever, you know. Uh yeah, but this current this but current these books though, like like yeah, I mean uh, I mean look, it's been a while since I've read it's okay, been a while since I've read the diary of Anne Frank, but I don't remember any sexual graphic sexual content in the diary of Anne Florida Frank. Bill. The hmm. Santa's is Florida Bill is a reaction to that, right? The the two woke sexual literature being taught to the kids in the schools. I mean, that's gone in, in Florida. So using this law, different counties have reacted as such. And in this example, over 1,600 books have now been banned. Is that fair to say, hmm. Dante? I, I, I think, honestly, I, I look, I, I think it's a mistake, but at the same time, it, it's, it's, Somehow legally they're making this happen, so wow. which, means, which means well, no, I mean it, it means people are voting for this, right? They're voting for people. Well, it's along the books in Florida, right? It's really grandstanding. It's what this all is. Mm. It's grandstanding. Yeah. It's not. They're, they're, they know that this is a pointless act. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because, mm. like I said, if someone wants a book, they'll get the book. 